Hello friends, welcome to Global Online University. Today I would like to discuss about sources of water and its conveyance. There are two types of sources of water. One is surface source, another one is subsurface source. The water which is available on the surface is known as surface source. The water which is available on the in the ground underground is known as subsurface source. Subsurface source is also known as underground source in this the in this surface in this in the surface source the more in quantities the water which is available more when compared with subsurface source whereas in subsurface subsurface source the quality the quality the quality of water the quality of water is good when compared with the surface source. Now, surface sources. There are four types of surface sources. Now, the first one is ponds, lakes. The difference between ponds and lakes are the ponds which the area is less and the la lakes the area which is more. And streams and rivers. Streams and rivers. Moreover, the reservoirs and oceans. Generally, oceans not used for bulk water supplies at present due to the cost. And another one, subsurface source. Subsurface sources are springs, infiltration works, as well as wells. Wells means tube wells. Example. Uh, we will discuss uh, further. Now, surface sources. Surface sources, we know that ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, reservoirs, as well as oceans. One by one, now we will discuss. Water ponds. Ponds. Actually, we know that when compared with the lakes, the ponds area is less when compared with lakes. So, here, it uh, ponds are made naturally as well as artificially. It may be made uh, man-made. Artificially means man-made. But in ponds, the quality of water is bad so less quality of water is available so used for um, bathing of uh, animals as well as irrigation purpose not used as water supplying source now the another one is lakes 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 are natural depression filled with water they are uh, the quality uh, from lake to lake some were salty some were fresh water lake like kolleru lake uh, so the quality quality varies with lake to lake so found in mountains and hilly areas as well as the, the more in quantity which are more in quantity as as i told previously the ponds are less when compared with the lakes so the quantity of water available in lakes are more the and that quantity of that quantity depends on catchment as well as the soil type the quantity is the more, more and now streams stream streams are natural drainages streams are natural as it has in the less catchment area less catchment area when compared with the rivers so the low quality of water is available in streams it is a potable water it is a potable water now rivers now rivers 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 are natural channels that means the uh, many streams will f combine and form a river that is called that is called natural channel they are perennial and non perennial rivers it is a vast in vast in that means more catchment area when compared with the streams now the another topic that subsurface sources in the subsurface sources they already have told that uh, springs as well as infiltration works and wells or the now the springs springs natural outflow of springs are natural outflow natural outflow of ground water appearing at the earth's surface as a current of 
stream flowing water under the suitable geological conditions so this springs springs are four types sorry two types of springs are this one is gravity spring gravity spring means it in the another again that gravity springs are divided into another three types they are depression depression springs uh, contact or surface springs artesian springs and in non gravity non gravity springs in that including the volcanic springs volcanic springs also also there in the there in the non gravity springs now open wells open wells open wells are large in diameter large in diameter and not very deep that means the diameter is large but the depth is less uh, low yieldings that means 2 to 20 meters to 2 to 20 meters it will be the depth and it will a shallow it is all it is also known as dug wells dug wells draw draw wells percolation wells and another type of wells are known as driven wells driven wells are the shallow driven wells are driven wells are the shallow well constructed by driving casing pipe in a in diameter and up to 12 meters deep it is also known as park percussions it is also known as percussions and another type is the tube wells tube tube wells tube wells uh, tube wells are in smaller in diameter they are smaller in diameter but lower the water the, the the gathering of water is large there are four types of uh, four types of tube wells the first one is strainer type tube well the first one is strainer type tube well next one is cavity type tube well another one is slotted type tube well and another fourth one is perforated type tube wells these were important uh, in uh, exams and now artesian wells artesian wells are water now the artesian wells are water flows automatically under the pressure is known as artesian wells water flows on automatically under pressure is known as artesian wells in a simple in a another the, the class sources of water are classified in a simple manner that means uh, the sources of water are classified in a simple manner that is natural natural sources generally we know that natural means uh, like uh, rain water rain water uh, as well as rivers oceans ponds lakes springs this all comes on natural sources another one is man-made sources man-made sources are dams wells tube wells dams wells tube wells canals this all comes under this classification natural as well as man-made then the, there is a possibility of asking questions in this way also natural sources man-made sources also the another one is collection of water that means from rivers or from lakes or from ponds or from reservoirs or from streams these are the or from the surface sources and subsurface sources thus from surface sources the water which is collected from rivers ponds lakes that means water is collected that is water is collected from surface water bodies that surface water body is nothing but like rivers streams ponds lakes reservoirs this comes under surface water bodies already we discussed it water is collected from surface water bodies with the help of intakes with the help of intakes that means generally water intakes intakes are the structures 
constructed at surface water bodies for the safe withdrawn of water over a predetermined pool range okay next the types of intakes are wet intake as well as dry intake now the dry intakes are dry now wet intakes as well as dry intakes wet intakes are collecting storing and delivering collecting storing and del delivers that is called wet intakes example river intake and another one is dry intake dry intake is nothing but collecting plus delivering directly collecting as well as delivering the water that is for example reservoir intakes now another one conveyance of water conveyance of water that conveyance means from intake to treatment plants the water is transported the water is transported from intake to treatment plant so of certain distance it will be uh, uh, some certain distance so the water is transported there are two types of transporting of water that means conveyance is nothing but the transporting of water that is through gravity convey through gravity conveyance as well as through pressure conveyance here we have the drawback from gravity conveyance is not evaporation evaporation losses is high in gravity conveyance gravity conveyance is nothing but the open channel flow like uh, canals example the water in canals is same as the gravity conveyance the water in it's like open channel then the evaporation losses is high so we, we um, so that one and uh, pressure conveyance pressure conveyance is the closed conduit that means it will the water is uh, the water is transported through pipes through pipes that means the pressure conveyance the pressure conveyance is preferred to gravity conveyance thank you